Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and I am going to be doing another acrylic page. This one's going to be a little simpler and a real quick video. And I'll talk about a few things that I mentioned in the previous video as well. And I'll be journaling in 1 Peter this time. For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. And I am going to do just the edge of this page. I debated doing the whole page, but decided in the end, I really liked the effect that I got by just putting the red on the edge. I've put a piece of paper in here so that I don't end up dribbling down the side of my page. I've done that before, so I have learned to be a little careful. And I just took a red paint and blobbed some on and grabbed a credit card. This is just an old card from a grocery store club that I don't need because I've got a little key fob for mine. So I can use it to spread paint. You can make a really thin spreading of paint, but you get a less organic edge with something like this. You can get a hard edge, sort of a, a broken, distressed edge by using this instead of the baby wipe that I showed you last week. And even with the baby wipe, I can soften some of that and remove some of the areas where the color went over the text if I want to make sure it's readable and that sort of thing. And I like the transition from that really solid color into this kind of broken mess, which is what I feel like. I am a broken mess. But through his blood, Jesus saves me. It's not through gold or silver, like that verse said. But the thing that he gives us back is our royalty, our place in the kingdom, our place as children of God, which I find the, the gold paint really reflects that. And last week I showed you the blue version of this gold paint. This is also by Pebio, and it's very, very shimmery and shiny. And I'm just applying streaks of it throughout the red that are going to be shimmery and shiny in, on the page itself, which looks super cool. Now, if you want to speed up the drying of acrylic paint, you can do that. I've got a, a dryer here that has two settings on it, and I use the lower setting. Because if you use the higher setting, if you blow something too hot, then the paint will bubble up. So you're best off, if you can, just letting it air dry. But if you're in a hurry, like I often am in my life and everything, use a lower setting if you can. And then if you need to iron something, then just do it real quick. One quick pass, like that quickly, because you saw that it kind of stuck a little bit even with just passing over it once, because acrylic paint will melt. And then I used a white pen, a Posca pen, to do the redeemed by his blood. And there you go. That is my quick video for this week. How fast was that? Super easy. And I will see you again next week with another video. Be blessed. Have a wonderful week. And I'll see you soon.